Yesterday was the launch of the ELC 125 and the ELC 500, um, and so to celebrate that, we gathered six photographers who've been involved in the campaign, who've been using the lights, um, and we got them here in Vegas, and we're gonna have them shoot them with them today. Yeah. Our rules for today are as long as we're shooting the same lights, um, the same model, and the same space, um, they're allowed to do whatever they want. So we might have some composites, we might have some um, LEDs in the background. Um, it's gonna be really exciting to see what everybody creates and how they create it differently. I kind of am all over the board a little bit of the time. I like to experiment with lighting and try different things. So one of the things I like about these new lights is I can actually use high-speed sync in the studio for the first time. I remember seeing these photos over and over again where people use multiple colored gels and then created multiple colored shadows on the background. But because the gels canceled each other out when they hit the model's face, it was a neutral tone on their face, but it made this really cool effect. What I did is I took three of the ELCs and I put them side by side with a red, green, and a blue gel, so that would be a neutral color as the result. And then I put a strip box with a grid over one shoulder opposite of those three colored gels. And then I put one over the top just so that I could sort of edge the model out on that shadow side and not have the light from those strip boxes end up on the background. It was super fun to sort of just play around and go from concept or a picture that I saw once and, and turn it into a reality. Yeah, so I shot um, just some stuff that I wanted to do compositing with, obviously, because that's kind of my thing. Uh, and the, the beautiful thing is that we have a studio today with a white cycle. And most people come in and they're like, oh my God, a white cycle. I'm like, yes, a white cycle. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really excited to kind of edit that in. I had a CTO gelled uh, bulb in the back just to kick a little light so that hopefully I can composite in a really nice like sunset or something like that. She had this really pretty kind of summer dress on. She has freckles and blue eyes and like these big doll lashes and it's, it's really great. So I was like, we'll do something like soft and pretty. and. I think my style is best described as experimental um, play because in studio I always love playing around different shapes, different modifiers and hard light and soft light to see what kind of shapes and dynamic you get at the end. Today we end up using three lights and I also mix some ambient in the frame too because I love the way this natural light was spilling in but I wanted some motivation from the flash which we use the light motive for, coincidentally as the name says. Um, so we use that as our main light. We use a, a small Rotolux for a fill light and a standard light with a gel and a reflector and a, a strip as well. Our set was incredible. We had a really nice black wall with um, white LED tubing, which is beautiful and it's exactly what my style was. So I asked the model what options she had for black and white clothes. So she had a black jacket and a white bra, which was nice. So it ended up matching the frame and that orange gel just set it off perfectly. I would say my style is really narrative. I love it to look as if my frames have caught somebody in the middle of their story. So I want it to look like something happened to bring them to the place where I took the photograph. So for my modifiers, I chose the Rotolux Deep Octo, which is my absolute favorite modifier. I just love the quality of light. So I knew that I wanted something with dramatic impact. And so I had that boomed out for a really directional light above her head, um, which kind of mimics that beauty light, almost like an overcast sky. And then I wanted a great big fill from the light motif because I knew that would fill up the scene. And then just to add some separation and a little bit of glow and dynamism, I wanted to use just a bare bulb with a reflector. And I knew I was going to use the fan to cause her hair to move and that that would just kind of catch those hairs and really add to the sense of drama. Everything that I do comes from a concept, from an idea, a dream, uh, something that I come up with creatively. Um, for example, what I just shot right now, to be honest, uh, I was standing off the side and one of the guys said, hey, no one's used a snoot. So I was like, you know what? I'll use a snoot. <laughs> but at the same time when that happens, it's kind of like your, your mind goes into overdrive, you, you create some kind of concept and then my style is jump in feet first with no fear and figure it out. That's and it's awesome. all about creating like the final image, that's all that really matters. If you're replicating your own work, it's the same thing as replicating somebody else's work. We should be challenging ourselves on every shoot. Even if you've done something similar, just give it a go, try something else.
So my style is timeless and cinematic portraiture. I like to keep the lighting and the whole concept usually relatively simple. So I used a large and a small Okta. So the large one I kept um, really warm and soft and then I had a little kicker in the back that was more cool and that kind of adds depth and dimension to the skin and the light, um, kind of making it look a little more natural and beautiful on the skin. Simple's always better for me. Yeah. So I liked having, it was a simple black jumpsuit that had a little bit of lace de detailing. It's flattering on her, it looked really pretty, so I chose that. And that is it for the day. It was so exciting to see all six of our photographers using the new ELC 125 and 500s in these new and creative ways. Yeah, I feel like everyone really pushed themselves. Like we had people using snoots and colored gels and like finding different spots in the studio to shoot with. Like it's, it's just fun to see them like get out of their comfort zone. Yeah, it's such a fun reminder from Ellen Chrome to constantly push yourselves and create new adventures in the studio. And I think we're really excited to see what you guys create in your studio with these new lights. Yeah, I would say be sure to tag us in your work. Um, tag Ellen Chrome and Instagram. Um, use the hashtag, what's your next adventure, so we can find your work. Um, and also let us know in the comment section below what you thought of today's work. I'm Emily Teague. And I'm Brandy Nicole. Until next time. Bye. Bye.